Hello and welcome to the 17th episode of my Call of Duty Ghosts Weapon Guide. In this episode, the MR28, an accurized rifle caliber version of the German HK416 assault rifle design. The MR28's damage is good, and although it has the lowest per shot damage in class, it's still more than capable of killing a close range target with two shots, or just a single headshot. At a middle range, damage drops to a three shot kill instead. Rate of fire is limited to 600 rounds per minute, which is generous enough for most trigger fingers. This fire cap puts the MR28 at the top of its class for potential output, and so suits those able to dole out accurate shots quickly. Unaimed performance is underwhelming, with poor hipfire spread that outperforms only the sniper rifles as a last ditch defense. Recoil is mild, courtesy of an integrated grip, giving the MR28 the best handling in class, as well as the fastest potential output. The marksman rifles handle best when using the integrated scope, as it offers reduced recoil. However, the MR28 remains controllable enough with a close range optic, although your abilities at a longer range may be affected. Aim time is average, on par with the assault rifles at 300 milliseconds, and your mobility is average too, at 90% of the base speed. Magazine capacity is highest in class, at 24 rounds, or 36 with extended mags. This pairs nicely with the low recoil and rapid output, as you'll be able to lay down significant suppressive fire. Reloads are very quick too. 2.47 seconds gives the MR28 the fastest resupply of any marksman rifle, and means the weapon is all round the best handling option available. The marksman rifles, as their name might indicate, reward accuracy and shot placement over unchecked aggression. Unlike the sniper rifles, however, they can perform quite well at a mid-range, with more rapid follow-up shots and faster handling. As the MR28 is the best handling of the marksman options, you can afford to be a little more aggressive and get closer to the fight. To this end, it can be worth electing an alternative optical attachment. While the integrated scope is great over mid to long range sight lines, you do lose a significant portion of your peripheral vision when aimed in. The close range optics are a useful selection for more aggressive use then, and are almost a necessity on the smaller maps. While such choices will slightly increase recoil, the improved reactivity at a closer range may prove worthwhile, and equipping whichever optic you're most comfortable with will ultimately enhance your shot precision. Pair the sight of your choice with extended mags for better sustained fireability, and you can get close and quickly dole out high damage rounds onto your target, denying passage and blunting their assault. While the sniper rifles demand single shot accuracy, with the marksman weapons you can dispense rounds a little more liberally, and larger magazines mean fewer gaps in your ability to fire. For your perks, focus is an important choice, and well suited to all of the marksman rifles. Reduced sway will assist on the accuracy front at range, and the reduced flinch from incoming fire will also reduce the odds of a critical shot going wayward. Amplify can be very useful to help detect enemies close by. Keep a keen ear out, and if you hear any errant trudging in your locale, switch to a weapon better suited to a close range encounter. A handgun can be quite a valuable investment then, with the marksman rifle's poor hipfire performance. Having a nimbler option on your hip can help should you find yourself in a close range scrape. Reflex can be a worthwhile investment too, speeding your reactivity when switching weapons. If you pick up a fallen enemy's SMG, you'll be able to more rapidly repel close range foe with confidence, and then quickly switch back to your long ranged rifle when the coast is clear. The MR28 is a high damage semi automatic weapon that can quickly down targets at almost any range when fired accurately. It boasts the lowest recoiling class, courtesy of its integrated foregrip, and as such is an ideal choice for those with an able trigger finger paired with good aim. However, the need for precise shot placement and the slower output compared to automatic weapons may mean that you'll be at a disadvantage at a closer range. While you might emerge unscathed if you're prepared for an encounter, getting your sights onto an unexpected enemy assailant may take longer than your opponent will grant. Still, with an able secondary at your side and a keen awareness of the battlefield, you can stay safe, and you'll enjoy some of the benefits of the sniper rifles with rapid handling akin to an assault rifle. So if you need a friend that's both accurate and true, the MR28 will be your mate. 
Thank you very much for watching and join me next time when I'll be covering the Bulldog. Until then, farewell.